Oh, I hear a motorboat. Somewhere out there on the river. Cameraman Rodney getting the shots. <laughs> Hero 2. Yeah. Hey. Actual video. <laughs> yeah. We're going to wander down to the water in a couple minutes here. Yeah. French Be River right there. Yep. Woo. Beautiful. Now see, there's more of a handy tent. The tent's bigger than mine, and it come out of a bag and sixteenth of the size of mine. <laughs> I need a lunch bag. I need a new tent. Hey everybody, random Andrew here. Uh, still on route to Hartley Bay Marina. It's a Highway 400 way over there. And this is the Bradford Husky. Yes, Bradford, Ontario. Uh, still a ways to go before we hit Barrie, but another 230 kilometers until we get to Hartley Bay Marina. Uh, not used to sitting in a car and driving for this long, but no problem, because I know we're gonna get there. We'll be there within a couple hours from now. And it's hot. It's damn hot. But there you go. But to keep the video short, I'll probably upload this one later. Or I might just save them all and throw it all together in a big long video when I get back after this week. So onward. Talk to you guys soon. So we're here. Hartley Bay Marina. I just bought my permit, my map. And I'll pay... Did I already pay the, do the loading dock fee? No, that's tomorrow. Or when I come back. Anyways, uh... So Rodney and I are just going down to check out the dock. <laughs> it's a happy dance. I'd be dancing too. I'm so happy, but I don't dance. It's beautiful here. Oh, it's gorgeous. Check it out, people. Lots of rock and trees and uh, water. We're heading down to the water right now. I'm sure there's animals around here somewhere too, but they smelt us coming. <laughs> nice and quiet. Fresh air smell of heated pine trees. I thought right she now. said it wasn't busy right now. Look at all these cars. Look at all the cars. Nobody here though. Shout out to Paul, greenblueearth.ca, YouTube, Green Blue Earth. If it wasn't for uh, him and Alex's trip, I probably wouldn't have put so much faith in coming to Hartley Bay, but we're here now, so that must speak volumes. I was going to make this a shorter clip, but uh, I want to actually get a shot down at the docks and everything yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, there they are! There they are! I've been looking at these things on Google Earth for a while. Now. These docks. Oh, when you're actually here. Yeah. Yeah. And you see, you have that, and you manifest that, and then you're now actually here doing it. Pretty awesome. We are at the French River, and you've got to say it like you're a Frenchman. Man, we are going down to the dock to put in everything tomorrow, but first we will look and then we will camp. <laughs> then we will have well, he will. I will paddle, he will he will drive. He will enjoy himself on this. Then we will go somewhere, I go back, he stays, he laughs, has fun, breathes. Oh no. Fresh air. Fresh air, no smog. There's a nice big pontoon boat. Triple hull. Very cool. So I'm just gonna let this keep recording while we're walking. This will be one that I don't upload right away. Good day. Oh yeah, this is definitely a different perspective once you're actually here. Look at this, people. 
you're all sitting at home watching some fictional TV show about somebody that doesn't even exist or something that doesn't exist or something that doesn't really matter. This is what matters. All right, I guess we'll go make our camp now and uh, we're doing at this tomorrow. Okay, well, we've got our uh, first night camp set up. It's a high speed train going that way. Crosses right over in front of the marina. But I won't hear that long once I get going, which won't be till tomorrow morning. We're gonna camp out here in this nice little hideaway of a spot right along Hartley Bay Road. And then uh, we'll go put the canoe in tomorrow morning. <laughs> can actually hear that train pretty good, eh? Yeah. I hope that's not gonna be a three o'clock in the morning thing. <laughs> See, the canoe is still on the boat. And we'll, uh, like I said, I'll get into that tomorrow. But tonight is just a nice and easy camp night. I need my vape. I'm vaping in the bush. And yes, I'm looking right into the sun right now. I can't see much. Let's go see what Rodney's doing. All right, here goes our, our trek down the hill to the French River. And I'm gonna get me some of that catadine filtered, fluoride free, chlorine free water if we don't end up coming to a cliff first. Yeah, looks like a drop off here. Oh wow. That's awesome, man. I bet it wasn't a little flatter here. We could. Uh... What are you thinking, to the right or to the left? Um, to go down? Yeah. To the left, down where that, where you could act, down by where that uh, log is? Yeah. It doesn't look like much. Oh, okay, so I don't end up with a mile long video clip. I will turn this back on once we are down there. Just beautiful landscape, look at that. And this is just the start. Can you see Rodney way up there? Wave your arms, Rodney. <laughs> Tell him to wave his arms, he waves his dreads. <laughs> He's up where I was taking my picture. I was up there a few minutes ago. Now I'm taking his picture from down here. But just look at it, folks. Look at it. Could you ask for a better view? I think not. I'm almost tempted to go get the canoe and throw her in right now. Look at that, it's just perfect. I'm Random Andrew. Don't try this at home because you don't have these beautiful boulders at home. I don't even know if I caught the leg.
Look at that, see? Enough for Rodney, I would have forgotten my math and all that important stuff. I'll show you guys the map after. But here I am. Hartley Bay Marina. First thing in the morning, there's a Rodney. <laughs> this boat and gear. And I am looking quite forward to this. I'm already having a, like I was just saying to Rodney, a better than great time. And I'm not even in the water yet. So I'm gonna finish loading the boat and then I'm gonna be underway and I'll take a video at my first stop. All right, well, I'm off. Oh yeah, that's the place to be. Just this. Get my lucky paddle. All right, see you in a week. All right. Yeah. Thanks again, bro. New waters. Awesome, man. Finally out and doing it. I just got to be careful that my paddle crossover doesn't soak my camera, right? Yeah. Looking good. Oh, that little tiny bit of a breeze is going to feel so nice. And that's what it's about. Just going nice and easy, nice and slow. So I'm only maybe about five, ten minutes out of Hartley Bay Marina. I'm passing a place called Lookout Point. It's a great big white house. Not the white house, but just a great big white house. Barely even a headwind. I'm thinking about switching to some shorts and sandals because I'm still wearing my shoes and socks. So only maybe get closer to 10 o'clock in the morning. Average at about four kilometers an hour, if that. So it might take me a little bit longer to get to the places I choose to go. But I'll get there. It's so freaking beautiful up here. I could live here and be happy for the rest of my life. You guys have no idea what you're missing. I just wanted to take this quick clip so I have a shot of the beginning of my canoe adventure. Working out a good paddling pattern, routine. Lots of things to stop and see. If I stop and see every little thing, I won't get anywhere. I can just barely see Hartley Bay still, so it's always a good idea to look back, familiarize, familiarize yourself so when you're on your way home or on your way out, you kind of know what you're looking for, like a point of reference, familiarize yourself with how it looks. I have a pretty detailed map on the other hand, like compasses, so I've got no worries about that. Before this clip gets too long, I'm gonna let you just go and I'll record something when I find something cool to record. So I've only actually traveled about half a kilometer or so yet. But I saw somewhere I wanted to stop and check out. Like I said, this is what this journey is all about. Look at this. Absolutely perfect, isn't it? Barely anybody out here. I've been passed by two motorboats. In about 15 minutes. Look at them. Here, we'll go up over here and get a video from over here. Hang on, there we go. Case is actually looking. all 
the empty clam shells. Coons, I bet. I yeah, probably won't see them, but there's probably lots of coons out there right here. And this is what it's all about. Finding a spot to climb up, climbing it, checking it out. Plus this gives me a good opportunity to avoid these wakes. Well, no, to be honest, it gives me a good opportunity to switch to some shorts and sandals. Which I should have done before I left, but no worries. Look at this. Boy, it's laid out all linear like that. I love it. Cool beans. Back to the boat. Well, go get changed and then back to paddling. I love this place. Island, on an island about probably a half click north of Canary Islands, so if you have a French River map, or not Canary, Canal Islands, that would be straight that way, half mile, half of a mile. And I'm just kind of getting my bearings, double checking on this map to make sure I'm on the island. It looks like I think I am. And then I think I'm going to head continuing going that way. But I'm just doing a walk, a tour around the island right now. Because I can. Like, look at all this. Isn't it just gorgeous? This is my backyard for the next few days. Not this island specifically. But I'm just looking for somewhere to sit. Have myself a coffee. Coffee. And just loving it. Absolutely loving it. And notice something about a lot of this rock. Is you don't see any fossils through it. It's because this is some of the first rock formed on Earth. These parts of the great Canadian, the Canadian shield. Look at all the layers. That's just great. There's my boat. Coffee time. So I just stopped, had my lunch, a uh, great big peanut butter and jam flatbread. This boat, mighty boat. It's doing really good. It's doing really great. And uh, one of the things I like doing when I'm out here, perhaps I'm not wearing the best of foot attire, I've got wet sandals on because I just wandered out up to my knees. I haven't done that in years, just to see what the water was like. One of the other things I like doing though, is climbing. Getting up's easier than getting down, isn't it? And this is the easy way. Actually, I think I took the hard way. Just remember, this is my first time being up here doing a lot of this. Some of you have been lots and some of you have never been. But this is why it's all worth it. Look at all that behind me. So worth it. Like, look, there's a rock right there. Some people can crawl under it. You just sit on it and munch your lunch. This area's all up in the top. Like, you can make a campsite up there. Have a beautiful view in the morning. Just don't do it drunk. Tell me that's not the most picturesque view you've ever seen. Unless you've been somewhere better kind of cool just a little beach that I come across is tucked in here and there's a fire pit there I just went up sat in the shade made my peanut butter and jam flatbread sandwich it's pretty big pretty filling too so I'm good to go for a few more hours so I just passed campsite 608 if you've got a French River map 608 from Hartley Bay I did in probably a matter of two hours of paddling not even uh, my sport tracker isn't working properly, so I don't know how long that actually took or how the distance 
I'm just kind of roughing it, uh, rough guess. Wow, it's just so freaking great here. I don't want to come home. I'm only on day one though, so. I'm gonna make my way down to the Earthbound Misfit and continue on, check out what these other sites are. I'm not gonna try and travel an incredible amount of distance today, but far enough that I can say I feel accomplished for one day and then just relax. Relax, chill, and take it easy. Talk to you guys in a bit. Let's hope I don't fall down here. Arm's feeling a little tired. It's had a hell of a time going up, uh, trying to make any progress, had a bit of wind. So I decided I, I got good at about 10 clicks tonight, or today so far. It's only about 3 in the afternoon, but I seen a nice big hill, rock, wall, ledge, whatever. Let me see. Way up there. I'm going to go climb that in a little bit. I'll take another footage or video while I'm up there. But I'll show you where I'm staying for the first night. It's really cool. I got a lake back here. Small private lake. Um... All right, let's just go around and show you. There's two campsites along this spot. I'm a 614. In case you're wondering what I mean by 614. Right there. And I'll show you what else it says. Ah. Please pack out all your garbage. Leave your campsite clean. Kill nothing but time, take nothing but photos. Leave nothing but footsteps and make sure your campfire is dead out. This camp, uh, campsite is maintained with the help of volunteers, friends of the French River, River Heritage Park. So there you go. I like this. Look at this. If you were to clear away this dirt and the dead materials here, good tinder by the way, you could actually have like a mini half pipe right here. Yeah, I still think like that. These great big boulders in the middle of nowhere. There's a trail that goes back in here. Yeah, maybe I'll have to follow that a little bit. But that's the whole reason I decided that I'm going to give myself these few extra hours of just taking it easy the first day. 10 kilometers of paddling into this intense headwind while I was heading south towards West French River, or the Western French River or something like that. It's the western section of it. And this intense, intense headwind. I don't know if you can tell on here, you see where the water is nice and calm, whether it's protected in this little bay area, micro bay. And then once you get out there, you, you see how it's a little bit, it's not like rough, but it was earlier. You'd actually see little mini white caps on the waves. And I was making crawling speed progress. But looking at the map, I'd say about 10 kilometers is what I figured I'd want to do the first day. Tomorrow I'll best that and I'll do double. I'm gonna have to if I wanna be able to make it back around what I'm doing in one week. So before the video gets too long, got a fire pit, get some cooking going on in a bit. Haven't had a chance to test out my new survival knife, camping knife, whatever you wanna call her. It's out of the sheath right now because the sheath's being ghetto. Got some wood I can hack at, cut up for if I want some bigger logs later, but everything burns super hot here. Compared to camping down where we do in the kettle area, everything here burns at twice the rate, twice the heat. I noticed that last night when Rod and I were camped out off the side of Hartley Bay Road. Uh, I could see how easily forest fires could start if somebody's not being careful enough. Down at Kettle Creek, the way it seems is like, well, it'd be pretty hard to start the forest on fire down there. But out here, oh yeah, just poof, that's it. So be very careful if you do come out this way. Very mindful of your fire, the moss and stuff that's around on the rock. It can, it's perfect tinder, so it literally ignites as soon as it's got a spark. But yeah, there's my tent. Everything all set up, my Thermarest mat inside, big comfy sleeping bag. 
I got my map compass. I'm gonna check out a few things with it in a bit just for double check my measurement for distance. Anyhow, enough. I'm going exploring. Have fun. Talk to you in a bit. Hey everyone, sorry about the wind noise if there is any, but uh, I'm up pretty high so there's going to be a little bit of wind. Not extremely high, but I'm up here. Can you see my tent down there? It's blue. That's where I'm camped tonight, number 6 something or other. 618? Six, yeah, 618. Would you look at that? Oh, trees. Still, I'm going that way tomorrow. But as for tonight, it's too much of a headwind. I'm not making much more than crawling speed out there on my own. Uh, it's a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna get up bright and early, sunrise, hit the water, and make some major room tomorrow. Bugs aren't too bad. This one really likes my phone though. Not bothering me too much. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. Day one, as far as canoeing is done. Uh, I'm fucking flies, pardon my language, but I'm going back to the site where I'm camped out. And I'm gonna cook me some dinner. So thanks for watching. I know it's short, sweet video, but I've been having a great time. Not taking too much time to do any filming today, just exploring. Look at that tree that fell just ripped right out there's a beaver pond back there I already seen two of them swimming around I was watching him for about 20 minutes seeing if he was going to be brave enough to come say hi he didn't I'll talk to you guys later I gotta figure out how I'm getting down good morning everybody day number two on the French River Got the boat all packed up. Morning music. All right, gotta have music. And all I really gotta do is grab up my rope, double check everything over on the site, make sure I haven't forgot anything. Look at this. Ray mirror style with a wibby and everything. Made a tripod. I'm gonna leave that here for the next person as well as. Uh, one thing I noticed, a big, big common thing in a lot of the videos is uh, whenever you get to these sites, and I've seen it at every single site so far, you always find firewood. Dried, ready to go firewood for the person, you leave it for the next person, because you don't know what their situation is going to be coming off the river. So, uh, for this site here, like this is like a two fire site, I guess you could say. You do your cooking over there, away from the site, away from the campsite. You see a big pile of firewood over there? Plus, I dragged that little table out of the bush that came in very handy. And this chopping block. So, what I've done here is I've split a bunch of this wood. It's some birch bark here. And I left it leaning so that it stays drier. It's not going to get wet, moist areas, and rot on the ground. Same with this. Some more good bark. Some more sticks. So, if you happen to be the next person on this spot, uh, coming off the river, there's wood waiting for you. As for me, I'm going to down a coffee. I'm going to hop in the earthbound misfit. Yes, that's my boat's name. My boat's name? That's the misfit. The earthbound misfit? Aye. So I'll give you an update once I make a little bit of headway. I'm looking to do some big miles today. This is campsite 816. There's my morning coffee stop. I've already done about a paddle or a kilometer and a half to two kilometers of paddling since I left 614. And it's the site itself is up here. I should have stopped at this site, site last night. There's so much headwind, it would have taken me another hour just to get that far. So yeah. Morning coffee and a vape. And then I'll be on my way again. Big ground to cover today. 
going up this way. There's a bunch of cottages and cabins. Really big freaking red one I'm going to get some pictures of. And uh, maybe poke about a little bit. If it looks like a friendly place. Just check it out. See what there is. And then onward. Past Pig Island. I'm going to start heading southward again after that. And well, you'll see. Great times. Great times. Although I do... My leg's wet, so you can't see it too well, but I do have to put some anti-itch stuff on all these bites. Down half shin level and on. It's like... Some more paddling away. Few kilometers down already this morning. Oops, smack the phone with the paddle. Yes, I don't have my GoPro clone, the SJ cam with me. It's at CTP Computers. Hopefully, going to be replaced. It would have been nice if I could have got a new one for this trip. So beautiful here. There's just words don't describe how this place is. It's freaking amazing. Show you what I mean in a minute. The only thing that isn't amazing are the bugs. Skitters, black flies, it's just not cool. I don't have a well developed paddle. Got a good paddle, see? It's a good one. But I don't have a very well developed stroke. Like there's the J stroke. And then there's that thing where you hold the paddle on the angle so you can get that less side-to-side -side effect. It's, uh, it's effective either way. I'm still moving. I'm still going. Trying to run my sport tracker. So I might be able to share just a clip of the traveled map, whatever you want to call it. And it's not really... I don't even know if I can share it, but I'll try. Hat's working out good. It's keeping the sun off my head and my neck. For now. But yeah, that's my update for now. And I'll show you where it looks like where I'm at. All the cottages and all the cool stuff. Crunch. That, uh... Big brown cabin to the right was the one I was saying I wanted to have a good look at. It's called, I think it's Atwood. I bet you it's made of wood. Yeah, horrible joke. So I gotta figure out which way exactly am I going. Am I gonna stay bearing straight towards the main island there, Atwood? Am I gonna go off to the left over here? Here, I'll see if I can get you an angle to see what I'm talking about. And we're gonna aim over this way and go up that channel. Canal, channel. Or I could go the long way and head out to the right of that wood. I'm thinking I'm gonna go to the left of this big old pig island here, but I'm gonna check the map before I get much further. Only animals I've seen so far for wildlife, other than a lot of avian, like birds and whatnot. Seen a bear from the side of the road on our way up. Seen actually the back end of the bear, that's about it. And I also seen, Rodney and I seen a fox the night we got to Hartley Bay. I'll check this out, it's about to fly across the camera. See those guys down at Kettle Creek, the Blue Heron. He's going fishing. Pretty decent. Keep in mind, folks, I'm not doing much more than five, well, four kilometers an hour. I thought my average was five. 
and the phone says I was doing 3.96 last time I was actually looking at it. The kayak paddle, I could probably average a little bit more. I'm not too, too worried about it. It's not about going fast. It's about taking time and having a blast, having fun, seeing everything there is to see. If I'm rushing on through here, I won't see any wildlife. Well, I'm down, uh, actually I'm just south of Pig Island. That's it right there. So it's way down the last dock you see. Before that is Little Pig. I think it's called Little Pig Island. And all along here, and then right after that flagpole down there, is the end of Pig Island. And what seems on the map a very small distance is actually a really good distance. I mean, I'll have to go out in the water a little bit for you to really see. Oh, the water and all that pollen on the water in case you're wondering that way down I come from way down there and I'm going way down there pretty freaking decent so I found this nice little inlet to stop and have another coffee a nature made picnic spot pretty groovy I'm loving it can't you tell the things you see when you're actually looking for something to see. This bottle has an old bottle. Look at the lip on the top of it. That's been sitting here a long time. I'm going to take a picture of it, and then I'm going to put it up out of harm's way on the shore. Because uh, if you're in sandals or barefoot stepping out of your boat and that, that would suck. Let's look at this real quick. I find these down in Kettle Creek all the time. It's a live clam. Clam, or yeah, something like that. So we'll put it right back where he was. Here's another piece of a broken bottle, a different bottle. They're all going to be cleaned up. Put a pile right there and then move it up between two rocks where nothing can step on it and cut its foot. Time to get a sunburn. Oh, you know I'm gonna. Most definitely end up with a sunburn, but when you burn, you let it cool, and then you burn it some more. What else can you do? Put suntan lotion on? Yeah, right. I watched that stuff eat paint off of a hairbrush. Not putting that on my skin. But I stopped here because I seen this little thing. Maybe part of a broken fishing rod. That's all it was. Nothing special. So I thought I'd come climb up here and see what's so cool about this site. I started seeing this. Something had a bad day. But on the plus side, something else probably had a good day. It's a gorgeous area. Look at this view. Isn't that just freaking spectacular? I'm going that way. So, climbed up here and turns out this is the campsite. This is campsite number Hang on, I'm getting there. I'm in bare feet, so I'm taking my time. Campsite number 702. See? And I recognize this campsite. Not that I've ever been here before, but I watch a lot of YouTube. Wow. Ooh, ouch. I watch a lot of YouTube, and uh, I recognize this site from people who stayed at it on their channels. Trail, probably going back to the yeah his little bathroom potty sign, the thunder box. See, it's this table right here. I've seen in like, I've seen this site in three different videos. Oh yeah, tent pegs. I need tent pegs, but I just make my own wherever I go. So I'm gonna leave those there. But uh, this is pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. I'm actually at a site that I was just watching on YouTube, like, not even a couple, well, maybe two weeks ago. And this is a great site, too. I mean, full shade. Great view. Nice big old fire pit. Needs to be shoveled out a little bit. Some ash in there. 
I'm not staying here. I'm planning on covering a lot more ground today and uh, going that way. But maybe on the way, oh no, I won't be coming past here on the way back. So I won't be staying at this site, but I've been here. It's just freaking gorgeous. So I'm back on the water, uh, heading down towards what looks to be a really fun area. Chance for some, let's see if I can sound professional, for some C1, C2 rapids. <laughs> I've never done any kind of rapids before unless you include what we encounter on the cattle. So this is going to be fun. Everything's all in the boat, zipped up, tied up, lashed up, so I don't lose nothing. If I do, it all stay together. <laughs> so I'm uh, heading back out on the water. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So I stopped for a uh, quick coffee break. Had to make a new thermos of coffee. Did so. And in the meantime, while I was waiting the, what, five minutes, that MSR stove's really, really quick. Once you figure out, it can be turned up higher. Isn't that cool? Mine's a bit taller. Than most people's for the size like of the rocks that I use because I'm taller. Just a little crevice, a little tucked away spot out of the wind so it's not going to get blown over by the wind too easily, I hope. And maybe if I ever make it back through this way again someday, I'll see if it's still here. I don't know if anybody's going to see it from out in the water, but uh, I'll know it's here. And I'm pretty happy that it's here. It's going to have a good existence out here. <laughs> Anyhow. Well, it got freaking windy as all hell out. And I wasn't getting any more than a mile an hour paddling. So I'm going to take a break from paddling for a little bit so this wind dies down it did last night so we'll see if it does again tonight if it does I'm gonna continue on for at least another hour or two of paddling but for now I'm gonna itch this mosquito bite for now I'm gonna start a fire and uh, cook supper about an hour earlier than I planned it gives me something to do with the wind dies down then I'm gonna climb up to somewhere tall after I eat up there. Well, it's taller anyway. Maybe see if I can't get a bar to a reception to text who I need to text and let them know that I'm alive. Yeah. Anyhow, that's a, not a bad little campsite. Just windy as hell. Hey everyone, it's supper time. I'm at, I can't remember the site number. I don't know if I'm going to stay here tonight, like I said earlier. I think I'm even going to fight the wind and get down to the next site. So when I start out in the morning, it's where I want to be. Hopefully the wind will die down a bit. So let me check. In case you have a French River map at home, you can verify and check and see exactly where I am. So I am at 708. I thought I passed it. It's on my way here. I couldn't really see the best. I was going checking one side for a bit. I didn't see, well, I found the site that it was on that side, and they kind of were alternating, going back and forth from each side of the river. You get the wind pushing you, it's, it's a challenge. Got my tarp up as a wind block, so I can prepare my supper. Uh, I got some water here. What it is, what it is. You know what this is, right? That's that beef jerky. So, process of breaking it up right now, putting it in with my mix. I've got a quarter cup of jumping jambalaya soup mix from Oak Farm. I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of white basmati rice. 
don't really have a way to, to rinse it. I'm going to try to rinse at least once or a little bit. And another quarter cup of dehydrated vegetables. So I'm going to put that all together, let it sit, soak up a little bit of the water, kind of cheat a little bit, and then put it on the heat and let it boil down for a bit and see what I end up with. Oh, and my butter. It's kind of nice. I got these tables at a few of these sites. up with a knife. Just gotta bust it up and rip it apart. And there you have her, Random Andrews Jumpin' Jambalaya Jerky Mix. Jerky Jumpin' Jambalaya, something like that. That's not my fork, by the way, that was here. It's probably been here a while, but that's, that's my fork. That's my fork. Anyhow, uh, it's uh, like 5.30 now. Still got many fingers of sun left, so... I'm going to eat probably about half of this and store the rest. I need it when I get to the next spot. Yeah. Or I'll just eat it all and clean up and then go to the next spot. That's going to be right shortly. I already had a water bottle let go on me earlier, so I had to take everything out, dry it up for the time I was here, and... Uh, Everything dried, bags dry, everyone's, almost everything's repacked. I thought I'd take a second to show you this too. I don't talk too much about the equipment I have, but this is a kettle I picked up. It's GSI outdoor. It comes with a little cup and everything, and they're perfectly camp kettle. It's awesome. It's great. So that's the cup it comes with. And it's actually two bowls as well, or two cups. It's got a, an insulated layer in there and a go cup lid. It's perfect. I'm gonna mix up a hot chocolate for the canoe ride over to the new spot. So yeah, I'm actually other than other than been fighting a headwind all day. Well, the latter half of the day, and no one's gonna be doing it again. The wind is calming down, just as planned. So I'll be heading to my new spot soon. Just to show you, this is it's good. It's really good. Look at that. Mmm. It's got a little kick to it too because it's jumping jambalaya. Mm hmm. So I uh, thought I'd take a quick little shot of 709. Well, I'm here scoping it out. I don't think I'm going to stay at this site, though. I still got a couple more hours of daylight, so I'd be moving on. But, I mean, the other site's closer to this than this was to the last site, so. There you go. 709. Let's come back up that way and get a picture of that. I've been trying to get a picture of almost every site marker that I've stopped at. But this site... Warrants something a little bit different than just a sight marker to come take a picture of. So I ran all the way back and got my phone so I could take a picture of this. There you go, Peter McFadden. 
McFadgen, tell me, what type of diesel is this? Is it a diesel? What was it? Well, I know it was an engine, come on. You know what I mean. <sighs> oh, yeah, I see that right there, that spider. Looks like the Hayes Dana symbol. Obviously, it's not a Hayes Dana motor, but BD12. That's what it says on there. But yeah, pretty cool. So I thought I'd come up and get a picture of it. Oh, and there's a engine casing cover. But yeah. Onward to the next site. Thought I'd uh, stop real quick, show you. I don't know how well you can see it or not because this phone's kind of weird this way. Can I magnify it for you? Okay. See, there's two little down points right, right here. Yeah, I'll just put the corner of the ruler by it. There's two little pieces there after 708 that comes down into here. I'm making that venture and making my way over to site 800 right now. Here's what it actually looks like though. There's one of those little two pieces that shoot out straight. There's another one, little finger pieces. And then over there is uh, towards 800. But there's a whole bunch of different channels that you can go down. And I'll take you to a different part and where I want to go is over there. So I'm doing that now. I'll show you the site when I get there. I think I took a wrong turn. I know where. It's not like I'm lost. I just thought this went back in and through all the way. And I do not think it does. We're gonna follow it anyways and find out. Does it? Or is it gonna be a dead end? Damn, dead end. Oh well, maybe. Well, we'll, we'll see, anyways. Past this fuzzy covered rock. Yeah, dead end. 
I wonder how many other people made the same mistake. That's okay though. I know where to go. Don't we always know where to go when we're lost, right? If we were lost. You guys think I'm lost. Absolutely freaking gorgeous where I am right now, though. Absolutely gorgeous. That would have been great if that went straight through there, though. I know it's a little dark. I got here about an hour ago. Site 800. You can see it up on the tree there. Bugs are just starting to pick up. So I'm sitting down on this rock. You can even see this. My toes in the water. Phone on the charge. Listening to some uh, Eddie Vedder Into the Wild soundtrack. I love that over here. It's like the perfect soundtrack for the wild. Because I am in the wild. Not into the wild, I am in the wild. Actually, uh, what took me so long to get here is I'm following part of the Voyageurs route. And, uh, yeah, that's a little better. And part of that Voyageurs route involved a portage over really crappy terrain. I mean, like, small, jagged rocks, walking very baby steps with a canoe on my head after porting all the gear over first. But I did it. I'm here. I followed the map well enough to end up at the site I aimed to get to today. This was my goal, and I reached my goal today. I did it. I love it. Absolutely fucking love it. I don't want to go home. But I'm going to run out of food eventually, and I'll have to go home. You see the moon up there? I see the moon, and the moon sees me. The question is, does the moon see the one that I want to see? Anyways, enough for tonight. I'll give you a tour of the site in the morning. Well, for you in a couple minutes, or excuse me, moments, but I got a bag of chips to finish. I've already ate supper tonight. <sighs> drink a bunch of water and go to bed. Listen in to good music. Here's a cloud for you. Yeah, I didn't stick around. Anyways, good night, folks. I'll see you in the morning.